Hi guys, welcome back for the Nauseous News Studies. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your own nail decals. And um, so let me show you first what you'll be needing. Um, you don't necessarily need this, but this comes in handy when you're cutting your paper or your vinyl. Now I am new to this. This is my second time actually using it. But I think I kind of get the gist of it, so we're going to go ahead and do the tutorial. We, we're going to need your mat. You're going to need a computer or your phone. You can also use your phone for it. They do, it, they do have the app, the Cricut, the Cricut Design Space. And um, you're also going to need your, I think I already said your vinyl, um, and your machine. So this is the one that I have. I did get it on special. Um, so yeah. So we're going to go ahead and... You okay, we're gonna go ahead and just delete this. Okay, so here is your quick your design your Cricut Design Space how it is when you first open it up, and so we're gonna hit text. Now we're gonna be doing some old English font, so we're gonna hit just hit with the regular A. We're gonna space it out B. Let's hit caps lock. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, yep, K. L, M, N, O. And we're going to go ahead and move this up. I don't like it all the way down there, so we're going to go ahead and move it up. And we're going to keep adding the whole alphabet. Okay, so now we have the whole alphabet here. So we're going to go ahead and change the width to 0.30 and the height to 0.22. That looks so tiny. So now we're going to be using our cutter. And, sorry. Okay. We're going to go ahead and cut a good chunk of it. Set it in there, and it's aligned to the rim and then we're going to go ahead and cut okay so once it's cut we're going to go ahead and remove the paper or the vinyl and we're going to be putting it on our mat now you do have to remove the the um the little plastic or that it has on top and then you're gonna put you know what we're gonna cut this smaller so it's about three inches we're gonna cut it at four now we're gonna go ahead and leave it like this for just in case So for the permanent vinyl, which is what we're using, we're using um, the uh, permanent glossy and it's a premium vinyl or vinyl. And we're going to go ahead and line it up. Okay, so it's it on there. Now we're going to go ahead and load our machine. Okay. 
I'm going to put my hamper there so I can hold it. Oh no. Oh, it has a lot of hairs. Mommy? Yeah, baby. You want to help me load it? So we set it there. And then you're going to press the arrows, the double arrow. Uh huh. Yep. And that's to load it. So it'll be ready. So now we're going to go to our computer. And we're going to move the cursor to make it. So go ahead and click it. Why? Go ahead. Hey, everybody. Okay, so let me see. I feel like that's way too small. So that's what it looks like. I think they're too small. Yeah, they're still way too small. Let me go back. Stop. One second. Okay. So let me resize this and I'll be right back. So I ended up spacing them out a little bit better. And so this is what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and click make. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Again, this is like my second time using it. The first time I tried using my machine was yesterday, and I made a shirt for my daughter. Mm -hmm. It was an aerial one. It was an aerial one. Go ahead and click continue. Here? Yes, go ahead. So now it's going to tell you what machine you have. Okay. And mine's connected. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our machine. And we're going to click on the cricket button. Yeah? Uh-huh. Um, and so call? now it's going to make it. What should we call that? Cricket. Well, I don't know what we're going to call it. But... I think we, I know what to call it. Butterfly. A butterfly? Yeah. Let me show you the computer, and it's saying it's at 7, 18%. So we just have to wait until it finishes to 200%, obviously. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and unload, which is the arrow button. Again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we unloaded it. We're going to remove it. And I am going to go ahead and just close this up. Oh, I can see it, Mommy. You can see it, baby? Okay. We're going to go ahead and close it up. And turn it off because we are done okay. using it. Now, I don't really have a place for my Cricut yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be going in my nail room or what it is. I don't have a... A lot of space for it okay. but we're gonna go ahead and so this is what it looks like we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the I'm gonna go ahead and remove it off camera because I don't think I can let me try I'll try first and then okay now I'm removing this sticker one second okay Okay, so I ended up removing it, and this is what it looks like here. Now, I ditch out my mat, so I do have to clean it. I'm not going to clean it just yet, but I will have to. So, once we're done, I would like to put my plastic over the mat once again. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, I like to put everything away, and I usually keep it in that same thing that it came in. The little protector that it came in, just to protect it a little bit more. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the vinyl, the vinyl, the vinyl, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And we're going to make sure that the letters aren't where um, we want to cut. So we're going to line it up again on the edge of this. And so that middle line in the center is where it's going to cut. So you want to make sure that the letters aren't there. 
So that looks just about right. It's off to the left side of the line, so it's good enough. And we're going to go ahead and cut, lift it, and remove it. And there you have it. Now there is extra down here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that as well. And the reason being is because you can use that little scrap to make other things, like um, you can do your logos and make a couple of decals using that. So I usually save every scrap. Well, not usually because it's my second time using it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And like I said, I'm using this little um, dresser. It's old, but I need to find a container for it. I Like I said, I just got it. And yeah, so... Let me go ahead and put this away. Set this in here. Okay. We're going to click on finish because we are done. And I am going to save this. I'm going to save it because I do, I do, I am planning on using it again. And we're going to save it as old English. Now if you do want a tutorial on how to download fonts, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Bless you baby. Thank you. Cloud and computer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that. And the project was saved. Like I said, um, if you do want a tutorial on how to download fonts, go ahead and leave that down below in the comments. And I will gladly do it. I also, if I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do like logos, like Chanel logos, Gucci, Fendi, and all that good stuff. So keep in tune for that. Um, but yeah. So let me go ahead and remove this. I'm going to go ahead and remove the background of it just so we can have the, the um, lettering there. Okay, so one second. Okay, so we've already peeled the top part or the background, the stuff. So now it leaves us with this. Now we do have to weed it because obviously you can see there is... Um, uh, stuff that we don't need. No, I don't know how to weed it. <laughs> so you guys are going to deal with me. So there is one piece. So there is the E. That's what it looks like. Now as you guys can see, the I is good, the L is good, the Z, and the X, and we just weeded the E. I'm going to go ahead and do the B. Now it would be nice to have better lighting, but... I might just move my whole um, station to my nail room. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I have a bunch of stuff there already and my room isn't huge, so. <clears throat> so there is that. Goodness, I really can't see.
So here is a final result. I know it's not perfect, but it's my second, well, second time using it. First time using doing nail decals, and second time using my machine. And it definitely was hard weeding it out, as you guys can see. I messed up on the B, on the E. I haven't finished weeding that out, but if I weed it out, the the um, left side of the N would get ruined, so I just left it at that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you guys have any other suggestions for me to do tutorials on, go ahead and let me know down below. And I will do that as soon as I can. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys until next time. Bye.